Arvrit is an experimental writing system, a, a new one, which is uh, combining Hebrew and Arabic in the same letter forms. So top part is Arabic and bottom part is Hebrew. And those are new characters that are compound out of Hebrew and Arabic. I grew up in Haifa. It's a multicultural city. And there are Hebrew speakers, Arabic speakers, and English speakers in the same city living side by side. And I don't know Arabic. And at some point, I realized that I'm looking at the multilingual signs in, in Haifa and in Israel, um, and I'm ignoring the Arabic. I'm just looking at the Arabic as if it's decorations and not as if it's letters with content. Uh, every sign in Israel has three languages on it. It has Hebrew, Arabic, and English. And it really bothered me that I'm ignoring it in a way. And I decided to come up with this project, which, which will give, give the same kind of respect for both Hebrew, Arab, and Arabic. Well, I think it looks nice, but I'm simply against it. It's kind of shameful to have a, a real language mixed with a stolen language, especially when we all, especially when we talk about Arabic and Hebrew. Uh, even Yafa, even this name, the Hebrew name of Yafa, the way even they they spell it or they write it, uh, it's it's stolen. They're both similar, so I think it's really okay. But since an Israeli artist came with it, or an Israeli writer, I'm against normalization, so I, I don't really like it that way. If we state it as in politics and normalization and everything, no, I prefer it's always in Arabic. I do realize that the languages in Palestine were English, Arabic, and Hebrew, but I don't know. Because of the situation right now, I'm not really with it. I think it's a good thing, and there's a great opportunity. It has to be clear if it's a room, 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 After talks I give, I, I get approached by people and they come and tell me what they feel about this project. Uh, so I've had people from Yemen and uh, people from Saudi Arabia, people from Lebanon and Egypt uh, come, come to me and say uh, how legible the Arabic is. They cannot read the Hebrew, but still the Arabic is very legible and they really like the concept. So there is, this, this project is always opening discussions. Both languages are sharing the same basic uh, letters, a letter design, and with that they carry a big idea of the fact that we can combine two languages and still each one of them can still understand, decipher, and uh, live its own life together. Combining the two languages give us uh, more of the same than the differences between both uh, cultures. Uh, that can be a bigger idea that this uh, font is uh, carry uh, with uh, the, the design itself. A lot of people are asking uh, it, for me to design a word for them in Aravrit for tattoos. And this is a huge honor for me because having someone want to have these new letter forms, new writing system on their body forever is, is a huge honor for me.